everyone, it's Sally Krawcheck. I'm CEO and co-founder of Elvest, and I'm here to answer all your money questions for Betches. Unemployment spiking up with the markets being so volatile with new legislation coming out of D.C. A lot is changing when it comes to money. And I'm here to try to give you some answers and I hope put your mind at ease a little bit with some actions that you can take. What you're talking about doing is something called timing the market, where you're saying, hey, the market's gone down. Maybe it's the right time for me to take my money out. Believe me, you have no idea. What has worked for people in the past is not timing the market, but time in the market. Riding these little waves, but getting that typically upward trajectory. What's in the legislation today is the government is waiving two months of interest payments and, and principal repayments. And so taking advantage of that to conserve some of your cash is, is a smart move to make right now. What you want to have is a financial plan overall. The first thing you should do financially is pay down your high interest rate debt. Invest in the 401k, particularly if you go to match and get the tax deferral. Build an emergency fund. Three to six months of take home pay in the bank. Invest in the stock market. Now, the way to think about your take home pay is what we call the 50 30 20 rule. 50% goes to needs, your rent, your work clothes, your the gas for your car, 30% in normal times to fund, and 20% to future you. That goes to paying off debt, which helps future you. That anxiety is reasonable. In a world in which it feels like everything, the rug is getting pulled out from under us in so many different ways, should I have money under my mattress? The banks are safe. Your money is safe. There's something called FDIC insurance, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which insures your money backed by the U.S. government up to $250,000. And so those visions we have of the Great Depression where people are rushing to the banks to take out their money, that is pre this insurance. Look at your expenses. You know, what can you pull back on? But also look to the government and all the different you know, initiatives that are coming out of them, whether it's, you know, the $1,200. We typically don't want people to borrow from uh, their 401ks and from their retirement savings, but there is a provision in this most recent bill to allow people to draw up to $100,000 to borrow without the typical 10% penalty. And so there are sort of a range of things. One thing that we do see that is out there is the Paycheck Protection Act which is the bill providing federally guaranteed loans to small businesses that pledge not to lay off their workers. It never hurts to ask. Making a phone call to your landlord, calling your utility companies. You lose nothing by calling and you'd be sort of surprised by the deals you can cut that nobody tells you about. While so many companies are laying people off, any number of companies are hiring people right now. You know, you've heard of Amazon, you know, a massive number of hires. Some of the delivery services, a significant number of hires. We've pulled together a list of these resources over at LFS.com of places where you can, you know, have some side gigs, some side hustles right now to make some extra money if you go to LFS.com slash magazine. The only way I would tell you it's okay to try to make bets on coming out of recession is if it's free money. The way to invest is a diversified investment portfolio. Not by one stock, not by one sector, not even by one company, but a range of investments, both equity, oh, I own a sliver of this company, and bonds, PS, for the money you invest in those diversified investment portfolios, it should be long-term money, right? It should be money that you can leave in the stock market for 10, 15 years. So real estate's an interesting one. Its return typically has been, you know, up and down markets, it's about 3%. We then look at the stock market and we'd say, well, look at that. You know, even with all the ups and downs and all the crashes that we remember, the stock market has gone up nine and a half percent. But here's the thing about real estate. Typically, you need to borrow money in order to invest in it. So now I've got something that returns about three percent, maybe some rental income if, if, if that type of where you're renting it. 
but you're talking about three percent and i need to put myself in debt in order to get it which oh means if the value declines the mortgage doesn't go down what i own goes down so i could in theory at times owe more money than the value i have as an investment if the choice is those two i'd be like forget it right over here in the stock market now that being said you can't live in your stocks right you can't sit on the porch of your stock you can't you know shelter in place with your stocks and so the you know, home real estate brings so much more to you but as a pure investment it's not an investment that i would tell folks to rush into except as maybe a sliver of an investment portfolio is this the time to start investing the answer is absolutely yes this is why we found an lms for those individuals who said i don't get it i don't see myself at merrill lynch i don't have enough money for their minimums and it just doesn't reflect myself back with elevest we have no investment minimum i mean you can literally open an account with a penny now i love to sort of joke well because it's true we can't give you a diversified investment portfolio for less than a dollar but this is why we founded elevest it's online primarily digital first built by women we're about 75 percent women and what I would urge you to do is just go in and give it a try. Take some money. Let me start to see how it feels. Let me see what it's like. And then I would urge you, once you've got the emergency fund bill, once you've got the credit card debt paid off, invest a bit out of every paycheck. Look, there's some scary stuff out there. What we at Elevest are doing is we are committed to answering every single money question you have. Send an email to questions at elevest.com or DM us on Instagram and check us out over on the site. We're putting out a lot of information on how we can all get through this downturn and what are the proactive money moves you can take to both protect yourself and to work to come out ahead on the other side of this. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. First of all, subscribe to Betches. They're going to continue with content like this for you and check us out over at Elevest. Big fan of Betches here.